in this instance, we are talking about the first pull of the Olympic lifts. So the first pull is that moment when the athlete pulls the bar off of the floor. So it's that bar floor separation, the beginning of the lift. As the athlete begins their first pull, we're looking for the shoulders and the hips to rise at the same time. So once they're in that good start position and they begin to move, that angle of their spine should remain the same until the torso comes vertical to initiate the second pull of the lift. What we often see is the hips rising first and then the shoulders and the chest following after. The athlete will often extend through the knees too soon. This will cause the athlete to have to finish the pull using the entirety of their back rather than allowing their quads to do the majority of the work. Another thing that we'll see happen is that as the hips kick up first, the weight will shift back into the heels and then the athlete has to find a way to reestablish that midfoot weight distribution. This is something that can often be easily corrected simply by paying attention to detail. Every time you go to pick the bar up off the floor, so whether it's a clean, a snatch, a clean pull or a snatch pull, a clean deadlift or a snatch deadlift, or if you're simply picking the bar up to start the movement from a hang position, always pick it up the same way. Have that intention that you're going to perform the lift itself. When you're setting up, be very aware of your start position and then be very aware of maintaining that angle of your torso. Think shoulders and hips at the same time and rather than thinking about pulling off the floor, think about pushing off the floor.